We are committed to transforming a $640 billion advertising industry. And today we mark a massive milestone in, in getting just a little bit closer to that. I'm so glad to be here and congratulations for an amazing first day of trading to the Trade Desk family. That was Trade Desk CEO Jeff Green one year ago celebrating his company's initial public offering. Since then, the Trade Desk has seen revenue growth to the tune of a record 72.8 million. That is up 54 percent year over year. Joining us right now to talk more about it is Jeff Green. He's CEO of the Trade Desk. And Jeff, it is good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, thank you so much. I'm excited to be here. We're looking at all the metrics. You, you, you did international growth, mobile growth. It's been a good year for you. What is driving what's happening at Trade Desk? Well, so the single biggest thing are the secular tailwinds. So, I mean, as we all know, the Internet is essentially taking over everything. And most of advertising is still transacted in a really old way. So of the $650 billion that is transacted in digital advertising, we think about $15 billion is transacted the right way, which is sort of similar to digital stock transactions. And we're just in that process of transforming the other 640 or $635 billion. So how do you see the market right now? Because we're talking a lot about advertising moving to online, although right now the bulk of the money is still in TV. Are you seeing increasingly customers want all options, digital as well as traditional or mostly digital? Well, all the growth is coming in, in, in digital. And of course, there is a, a, a lot of discussion about cord cutting and cord shaving and cord nevers. And how do you get in front of, uh, of millennials and Gen Zers without being on connected TV? So perhaps the most exciting metric we shared in our, our most recent quarterly report was that uh, connected TV inventory went up by 10x, so 1,000% for us Q2 over Q2 last year, uh, which is just a commentary on how ad-funded options on connected TV are growing rapidly and that in order to get in front of those type of consumers, you have to be on connected TV. So advertisers are looking for digital to solve really all their problems, including TV, which, as you point out, is half the, half the pie. Jeff, I just want to ask a quick question about how your technology works. So are you essentially, you're creating like an auction so that when a viewer or an online or a digital eyeball goes to a video or a website, you're uh, handling an auction so that advertisers can get to that particular demographic? Is that how it works? Uh, sort of. So, um, so there are a bunch of businesses online that, that run auctions. And in fact, my last business, I, I created an ad exchange and I sold that to Microsoft. So companies like Google and Microsoft and Yahoo, they are actually ad exchanges and they host auctions. Uh, uh, the Trade Desk, we actually operate the technology that sits on the other side of the auction. So we're listening to 7 million auctions every second. So that's how many auctions there are on the Internet. And that includes... Things like Spotify and Pandora and NBC and Fox and, and uh, uh, MSN and, and, and Yahoo. But when they send those requests to us, we have one-tenth of one second uh, to respond and say, do we want this one? So our job and our technology is to essentially help, you know, whether it's BMW or McDonald's or Domino's Pizza, to figure out of those 7 million ads every second, which 10 should they buy? There's been a lot of talk um, recently as well about uh, advertising content going online next to unsavory content, and advertisers have been pulling themselves off of YouTube temporarily and other things like that. What are your thoughts on that? And then, you know, does your technology help mitigate some of those challenges? Uh, absolutely. Yeah, so our, our tech has to, because if you're the biggest brands in the world, which we power nearly all of them, they're all extremely sensitive about showing their content next to things that matter. Sorry, losing this. <laughs> uh, um, so uh, uh, it's, it's really important that we make certain that they don't run on, on content that they shouldn't. And so what's happening on the Internet is people are, are figuring out how to fix uh, uh, sort of the pricing disparities between things like user-generated content and the more premium content. And so historically, people haven't discriminated much between what content you get in front of and instead, they focus mostly on the user. But now, as the markets mature, they're getting more and more aware that they have to be cognizant of both. 
Jeff, you, you uh, reported uh, net new clients. What are you expecting from that in, in the year ahead, 18? What kind of guidance are you giving? Well, so the guidance that we've given so far, so we've reported three times, and, and each time we've met or exceeded expectations, and we continue to inch up uh, uh, our guidance for the future. We're extremely bullish on our, our future. Um, one of the things that's especially great about our business is that it's recurring and predictable. Like any SaaS company, we want to be able to figure uh, uh, out exactly what's going to happen in the future so we can manage expectations. And because we have a really strong hold on our business, sure. we believe that uh, we're good at, at predicting what's going to happen. So with 95% client retention, we're really confident that we're going to continue to grow like we are and especially to see that growth internationally and in new channels like Connected TV. All right. We'll be watching. Jeff, good to see you. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Jeff Green there.